Welcome to the Fertilizer Advisory Service, or FAS as it's more commonly known. In this short video, we'd like to show you how we process the leaf and soil samples that you send in to us. We'd also like to show you some of the changes we've made to the laboratory and to the methods in order to improve the efficiency of our service and the management of quality control. Let's start by looking at the processing of soil samples. When samples arrive here in the reception area, the details are checked on the submission forms and boxes. Samples are then taken through to the registration room. In this registration area, your samples receive unique FAS sample numbers. These numbers are used to track your samples as they move through the different stages in the laboratory. Once registered, the samples are emptied into drying trays and taken through to the drying room. Here the samples are dried overnight at a temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. This removes all the moisture to eliminate any influence on the analysis results. We doubled the capacity of the drying room so that we can process more samples daily. Once dried, the soil samples are ground and passed through a sieve. Following this, they are returned to the soil box and sent to the preparation room in batches. We've also expanded this area to have two grinders available for soil preparation. This is the sample preparation room. From here, samples follow five different routes through the laboratory for analysis. In a new development, trays of samples are processed in small batches, allowing for stricter quality control. In each row of 11 cups, we include a blank and a control sample of known value. A known volume of sample is scooped for each different analyses. This represents yet another change in our system. Previously, all samples were weighed. Results will now be expressed on a volume basis, which will reduce any error arising from soil texture variability. Samples are then taken to the laboratory to be prepared for analysis. Analysis in the lab starts with extracting the elements from the soil samples. Here we use multi-dispensers to add extracting solution to the samples. Following this step, custom-made stirrers are used for the extraction process. As part of the changes to the laboratory, we've introduced new methods which improve the accuracy and speed up the analysis. Wherever possible, we use computers to automate the process. This improves the sample flow through the laboratory and reduces errors. This is one of the instrument rooms. Here, sample processing is completely automated. We use this process to analyze the soil phosphate, silicon and sulfur. Silicon is now included as a routine determination for all soil samples. This is another instrument room. The ICP is used to determine the macro elements, potassium, calcium and magnesium. The micro elements are also analysed, zinc, iron, manganese and copper. These micro elements are now included as part of the routine analysis package. The use of the auto sampler allows us to run the ICP overnight, thereby increasing our capacity further. So now that you've seen the processes involved with analysing your soil samples, Let's look at the leaf samples. Leaf samples undergo a similar reception and registration process as soil samples. They also dried overnight, but in this oven at 70 degrees Celsius. Leaf samples are ground and processed further. Cane leaf samples are pressed into discs for analysis. Leaf nitrogen is determined using the NRR instrument. The XRF here 
is used for determining all the other routine elements. It is calibrated specifically for cane leaf. This marks the end of the leaf analysis. We use quality assurance systems for all the analyses to ensure the accuracy of the results before uploading and generating fertilizer recommendations and reports. I also mentioned the use of control samples of known value. The results from these samples are used to check the accuracy of your results in each small batch. In addition to the developments in the laboratory, we have also revised our fertilizer recommendations and made changes based on the latest scientific findings. We've also revised our reports, making them more user-friendly while providing more information for you. You can help the efficient processing of your samples by following the recommended procedures for sampling described in the soil and leaf videos. It is important that you provide all the details on the submission forms, including your email address so that we can send your reports via email. This will speed up the turnaround time from sample reception to you receiving your report. Remember that besides routine soil and leaf analysis, FAS also analyzes fertilizers, irrigation water and soil salinity and sodicity. So we trust this video has given you some insight into the working of the Fertilizer Advisory Service Laboratory and given you a chance to see some of the changes we've made to improve our quality managed system. We believe that these changes will result in a more efficient service for you at FAS.